Ontario's top doctor wants to end workplace COVID-19 vaccination policies by early next month. Dr. Kieran Moore says he's reviewing letters of instruction sent last year to various sectors, including hospitals and post-secondary institutions, which required that they develop immunization policies. Most sectors were instructed to require people get regularly tested for the virus if they're not vaccinated, but many took their policies further and required all workers to get the shots. So what should happen with the unvaccinated who lost their jobs? Queen's Park producer Randy Rath asked that question today. Should people that were fired that lost their employment because they refused to get a, a vaccination, should they be rehired? Our policy and recommendation was to have an immunization policy, uh, whether you vaccinate or uh, get tested. Uh, if they've gone forward and had a mandate, which was not our, our direction, uh, uh, I would leave it up to the individual corporation to negotiate that with their workforce. Would you, doctor, feel confident that an unvaccinated person could go and work in a long-term care facility now? I think we've improved the infection prevention and control practices uh, significantly in long-term care. Uh, I, I think as we head to low endemicity um, and low-risk environments in that setting, we should absolutely review uh, all uh, measures that have been put in play. Moore noted that a vaccine mandate for long-term care workers came from the minister responsible for that sector, not the chief medical officer. He says vaccination policies may no longer be necessary because of the period of highest COVID-19 risk is over and they would ideally lift on March the 1st. That's when proof of vaccination rules are set to end for customers and businesses and other indoor settings.